Bringing words to the deaf. The ability to communicate with each other is an important part of being human. For people who are deaf, communicating often means using sign language with family and friends. Sign language is a way of using hand shapes, body movements, and even facial expressions to stand for letters, numbers, words, and phrases. But who brought this important system to America? Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet. Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet was born in 1787, grew up in Connecticut, and studied to become a pastor. In 1815, Gallaudet's neighbor came to him concerned about his young daughter Alice Cogswell, who was deaf. How could she be taught if she was unable to hear language? He asked Gallaudet for help. Gallaudet traveled first to England and then later to France to visit a school for the deaf. Teachers there were using signs to communicate with their students. Gallaudet meets Laurent Clair. Laurent Clair was born in 1785 in France. When he was only a year old, he fell from a chair, and the blow caused him to become deaf. Later, he was sent to a school for the deaf in Paris, where he began to learn sign language. As a young man, he would become a teacher at the school. When Gallaudet visited Clair's school in Paris, he was impressed by what he saw there: a friendship formed between Gallaudet and the deaf teacher. A friendship and partnership. Gallaudet suggested that Clair travel with him back to America and bring his knowledge and experience to a school that they would build together. In 1817, the two men opened the first school for the deaf in North America. Their school continues to educate deaf children today. It has served as a model for other schools around the country. Gallaudet will always be remembered for his important work in leading the way to help deaf children learn.